Retracing my tracks west down Glenbeg, I turn left again at the coast, heading southwards. Then it's onto high ground on the headland of Sandeg as the road sweeps past the edge of the cliffs to reveal some breathtaking views across the Sound of Sleet. The road is rough, and in all the nine miles there are only two farms, the roadmender's house at Shanteg and the shoreside farm of Rase. What Harold wouldn't have known about, because it was completely hidden from view, was a cottage down on the bay that would soon become one of the most famous places in this part of Scotland, thanks to the arrival of two outsiders, the naturalist Gavin Maxwell and his otter, who he brought from Iraq. Maxwell was the author of the highly influential book, Ring of Bright Water, which made him and his otters unforgettable. Gavin Maxwell was a remarkable figure, one-time explorer, special agent, and even shark hunter. He moved here to a house that was known in his books as Camus Fierna, and helping to care for the otters that were his passion was a young Londoner who would later become a famous naturalist and television presenter. To hear more about their extraordinary lives here, I'm meeting up with Terry Nutkins, who's agreed to show me where he and Gavin Maxwell and Edel the Otter once lived. Right, Claire, so here's your first view of Camus Finn. And that's where the house was, down there? Just to the right of that telegraph pole is where we lived, and that's where Gavin Maxwell is actually buried. Maxwell chose this place for its remoteness and isolation. Even now, it's still a tricky spot to get to. Who needs a bridge? <laughs> this is it. This is where the house stood that we lived in, here at Camus Fierna. And of course, Gavin Maxwell, well, Gavin Maxwell's ashes are below this stone. And this is where the house stood. Now, the stone's in this position, quite literally, because Gavin's desk was here. And this is where he sat and That's wrote the... Ring of Bright Water and all the, you know, the trilogy and the life of the otters. Absolutely, uh, on this very spot. It was a masterpiece. It was beautifully written. Um, it inspired people, especially people that lived in places like London and Manchester, to come and see wildlife. You know, it was all there, and they thought, well, it's on our doorstep, really. It's only Scotland. And it was actually quite an adventure for a young boy who was born in the middle of London, in Maribyrne, overlooking a railway station. It was quite incredible to come from, if, if you want to call it, that concrete jungle into this wilderness. He may have left behind the noise, the people and the pollution, but also gone with the comforts of life. We didn't have electricity. We didn't have running water as such. Um, we had paraffin lamps and tilly lamps, and that's how we lived. So it was a very different lifestyle, and it was, I loved it. But as Terry found out, Adventure and danger go hand in hand. Edel, the otter, bit these two fingers off. She attacked me, and it took me quite a while to get away from her, but when I did get away from her, I found my hands were like mincemeat. They'd just been, you know, torn to shreds. Did that change your relationship with otters? You don't keep an otter as a household pet, and that's one thing that Gavin learned, and we all learned. They're not domestic dogs or domestic animals, and um, they're, they're unpredictable being wild animals. Maxwell's remote existence with the otters had captured the public imagination, but the popularity of the book shattered the dream. Maxwell was suddenly famous, and even this place offered no escape. He couldn't cope with it. He wasn't a strong man that way, so he couldn't deal with it, but he didn't want anyone to know that. So he started drinking more. He started smoking more, and the pressures became more because we started spending more money. And next thing, agent on the phone, you've got to write a sequel. You've got to write another book. We're broke. So he wrote The Rocks of Maine, which was a sequel to Ring of Bright Water, which was a disaster because it was written in a hurry. And it didn't have the same beauty. It didn't have the same anything as Ring of Bright Water. But that was the beginning of the end, really. One night in 1968, Camus Ferner burned to the ground. Maxwell escaped, but Edel the Otter died in the fire. It was all very sad, and Gavin um, was devastated by it.
by the fire because this is the place he loved. This was his ring of bright water. This was his haven. <laughs> 